Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Deputy Stone, the Social Security Administration reported staff in a recent briefing that was reported on the federal IT dashboard. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to skip that question. I, I want to go to Acting Commissioner Colvin. Uh, the committee's been corresponding with you about uh, the uh, disability case processing system for years. In response, you sent to uh, Representatives Isa, Jordan, and Langford on July 30th, you said, I have personally and proactively uh, taken to put the uh, DCPS on the right course. Uh, nearly two years later, here we are, and, and so there's a few questions. And I just want to point out in 2008, uh, started this process of overhauling uh, the DCPS system and spent $288 million and had to scrap it in 2014, basically. Uh, threw away 200, almost $300 million. Um, I want to know, uh, is DC, is, today is DCPS currently uh, fully functional, serving all of the state uh, DDSs? Uh, DCPS was started in 2008, as you uh, point out. I assumed the leadership role here in 2013. Ma'am? So it had been in existence of, five years before I came. Yep. I did a reset, and we are on schedule. Uh, we have an aggressive schedule uh, where we expect to be um, rolling out or having um, our first um, product to three DDSs in December 2016. So the answer is no. It's not fully functional. If, if it's, you're still well, waiting, let me... Um, we are doing it in an agile way, so the products will be delivered on an ongoing basis. Well, how much have you spent... Uh, since it's been under your watch since uh, June of 2014? Um, that's, I'm sorry, I need to look at that figure. Um, it's about, uh, I think it's about 60 million plus. It's about somewhere between 60 and 70 million on my watch. Okay, and, and then you've got another 60 or 70 million uh, yet to spend, is that right? Yes, I would say that's accurate. So do the funding numbers uh, include customizations that Social Security Administration needs to make so that the core DCPS is ready to accommodate the needs of the states? We're looking at a core product. Uh, there will be some additional cost for customization. But right now we want to make sure that we have the same product in every state. But yes or no, does, um, does it include the customizations that you need to make? I would say yes. It's interesting. Uh, when this is done, how much will Social Security Administration have spent on this? Are you speaking relative to cost since we reset? I'm talking about total cost, DCPS, uh, for the whole. Well, there was $262 million spent uh, by my predecessor, and we we're looking at a potential $170 yeah, no. million. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about half a billion dollars. Not on the reset. No, I know not on oh, okay. the total. Since 2008, we're going to spend about half a million dollars, and we're still not fully functional. So well, um, we started the reset uh, in 15. Uh, Ms. Stone, what is your view on it? I would say the. Um, my biggest concern at this point is, um, you know, I don't want to be here answering these same questions six months from now. And in the past, we've seen some similar uh, situations. Uh, I know that there are, that some questions have been raised about whether or not the December time frame is realistic. If we have any delays, that could um, result in additional costs. We know that this is a complex system. So I'm, I, I'm just as interested and concerned as, as you all are uh, about the success of this implementation. Well, there, there was a McKinsey study of the DCPS that came out in April, April 21st, that says the progress has been slower than expected and the current trajectory, tra trajectory must be significantly accelerate, accelerated to meet the uh, timeline for core. Why do you think that that is? Why? Why do you think they made that finding? 
Well, I think that uh, clearly it's a complex program. Um, we had had an original uh, management review. We then later had a technical review uh, by McKinsey. They've clearly stated that we're on the correct path. Let me ask, uh, in the few seconds I have left, Mr. Klopp, to respond to that. Sure. <clears throat> so the answer is that we took off on the project starting October 1st of last year. We, uh, for all I think the right reasons, decided to do this in an extremely modern technical environment which meant that there was a learning curve that we had to take on in order to figure out how to work in the cloud, how to use new programming languages, et cetera, et cetera. And that learning curve uh, slowed velocity in the beginning as you would expect it to. What we find right now is that we're passing through that learning curve phase and the velocity is picking up, which is why we're still confident that we're going to make the December dates. Thank you. Um, and I'll recognize the gentleman.